In this video, let us look at how you can do semi-structured retrieval augmented generation with tabular data. Okay, basically documents which can have mixed content type including text and tables using Langchain and open source LLMs and open source embeddings. Previously, I had done a video on semi-structured RAG with Langchain and OpenAI GPT-4 as LLM and OpenAI embeddings. So there were requests to make the same with open source models and embeddings. Okay. So why do you need to do semi-structured retrieval augmented generation? Okay. So semi-structured data, which is your data, which has both text and tables. It is con uh, challenging for conventional retrieval augmented generation for two reasons, which is text splitting may break up tables, corrupting the data in retrieval. Embedding tables may pose a challenge for semantic similarity search. So Langchain uh, library basically has this cookbook, which is for semi-structured rag. Here the idea is that you will parse a set of documents using unstructured, which is a library for parsing your uh, PDF documents and other kinds of documents. Okay. Semi-structured data documents. Okay. Then unstructured, you can pass through unstructured, uh, basically using unstructured library and you will get the tables and text chunks. Now using the LLM, you can actually create table summaries and text summaries. Okay. And you can also have the raw table and raw text associated with this text summary and table summary. And you can vectorize them using embeddings and put it into a multi vector retriever, basically a vector database. And then you can use a multi vector retriever. Now, when you have a query, you can retrieve raw tables and associated text and the LLM can, uh, you know, generate a better answer based on that particular context. Okay. For example, if you have a document like this, this is a research paper, uh, you know, which talks about Gemini uh, models from Google DeepMind. Okay. Now over here, uh, you know, there is this particular table. If you look at, right. Uh, let me go to that particular table over here. For example, you have this table where there are benchmarks of say Gemini versus GPT-4 vision, and you want to extract values from this table. Your conventional rag systems may not be able to handle it because the way data is embedded, it might break this table. You know, the sem uh, semantics is lost. Okay. Or for example, you want to pull out something like what is the performance of, you know, uh, Gemini Ultra on this audio understanding tasks. Okay. Or say, what is the performance of Gemini Pro on this automatic speech recognition task on YouTube, right? So I want this particular set of values being pulled out. Okay, from this table, right? So I am uh, following this particular cookbook, except that I will be using Mistral LLM. So it's an open weights model. Uh, the weights of the model are open and you can make use of uh, that LLM over here. Okay, this code primarily makes use of OpenAI GPT-4 and uh, OpenAI embeddings. But for embeddings, I am going to use fast embed from Quadrant. Okay, so this is a lightweight fast Python library built for embedding generation. So I'll be making use of this particular library for embeddings. Okay, so let us go into the notebook, right? And I um, using an A100 GPU instance over here because Mistral 7 billion LLM requires at least 14 GB of GPU memory. Okay, so let's go to the code. Right. The first thing is that I need to upload my PDF file. So I've done that over here. Okay. So once I've done that, uh, so I've uploaded this PDF file. So today I'm going to do, uh, you know, semi-structured rag on this particular PDF file, which is the paper of Gemini. Okay. So what I am going to do over here is that first I need to install libraries. Okay. So I have put the version of Langchain, which I'm using unstructured also, because when I'm using some higher versions of unstructured, it had some issues. So I put the version over here. So you can try out with these versions alone. I have not versioned Pydantic LXML Langchain Hub. Okay. If you have issues, please check out this particular, um, you know, what version is installed over here and put it over here. I did not have issues with this three libraries. 
So I put the versions of Langchain unstructured over here and I install these packages. Okay. So then I have to install fast embed. Okay. Now uh, unstructured uh, for PDF partitioning will you make use of Tesseract for OCR. Okay. If there is image data, it cannot do, you know, uh, proper uh, extraction from say uh, documents. So it makes use of Tesseract as well for OCR and then it will do uh, table and, um, you know, your text extraction. And it uses something called Poplar for PDF rendering and processing. So I install Poplar Utils. I also inst install Tesseract OCR. I also install PyTesseract. Okay, these things are required for this unstructured I.O. library. Right, and NLTK is also required. So I do that over here. So the first step is to actually, you know, um, read our PDF file and extract tables and text from our PDF file. So that is what this partition PDF function from your unstructured.io library is used for. Okay. So using this, you can get the raw PDF elements. In the raw PDF elements, you can actually pull out the tables and, you know, uh, your uh, text elements. Okay. So this is the code for that uh, to actually pull out the table elements and to pull out the text elements. Okay. So there are close to 16 tables in this particular report. Once it is being parsed using unstructured.io and there are 55 text elements. Okay. So this is where the parsing happens. I will not go into details of the code. You can look into it. But the idea over here is you are going to pull out your, um, you know, you are going to parse the document and you have to ele elements such as tables and text. That is what you are doing. And they make use of unstructured chunking over here, which tries to identify document sections like introduction, then builds text blocks that maintain sections while also honoring an user defined chunk size. Okay. So you are creating chunks or sections of text from your document and uh, you are extracting that along with the tables over here. Okay. Then you have to instantiate your multi vector retriever. Okay. So for that, what you need to do is that first, uh, you know, you are going to make use of something called as uh, language chain expression language, uh, you know, lang chain expression language over here. All right. Uh, so here is the difference from the cookbook where they make use of open AI over here. I am going to make use of Mistral 7B. Okay, so this is how I instantiate a Mistral model over here. So for that from Langchain Community LLMs Hugging Face Pipeline, I have to uh, import this Hugging Face Pipeline and I can instantiate my model like this. Model is equal to Hugging Face Pipeline from model ID. Mistral AI, Mistral 7B instruction uh, tuned, fine tuned version. That is what I'm using over here. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to run it on the GPU device and uh, this is important. I want to do a B float 16 inference basically, right? So that the 7 billion model will occupy only 14 GB of graphics memory, GPU memory. If I don't put this, it occupies close to 30, 14, 14, 28 GB memory actually. Okay. So this is how I am instantiating my Mistral LLM over here, which is the model. Okay. Then here is where I am defining a summarize chain. Okay. So what I'm saying is that prompt text is you are an assistant tasked with summarizing tables and text, give a concise summary of the table or text. And I'm passing that element, which is table or text chunk. Okay. So I can create this prompt using chat prompt template from Langchain by passing this prompt text. And this is my chain. What is this chain over here for every element? Okay make use of this prompt on this particular model using this particular LLM model. Okay. So prompt plus text is sent to this LLM model and parse the output. Okay. Uh, this is my summarized chain. Now I have to apply this summarized chain to my tables. So that is what is done over here to generate table summaries. So for every table, okay for text in the table elements, basically. So this tables is nothing but a list of tables. Okay. The text present within the tables and for each of the table present in tables, I am actually summarizing over here. That is what this summarize chain does. Okay. So I'm passing this and I'm getting the table summaries. Okay. 
So this takes some amount of time using our Mistral 7 billion. That is what I have observed over here. It took close to six minutes. Okay. And then, uh, you know, I'm applying it to text. Okay. Uh, so over here, I have close to, you know, uh, how much was the text elements? The table elements were 16 elements, 16 tables. Okay. Let me check the number again, 16 table elements and 55 text elements, right? So for 16 tables, it took close to uh, six minutes. Okay. Uh, uh, the, we, uh, what you call the instance has been disconnected. So the time is not coming over here. Okay. But yeah, so it took close to that. Um, now what I'm going to do is that next I'm going to generate the text summaries. Okay. So for 55 elements, this took close to 47 minutes. That's what I observed previously. So now I, uh, I'm summarizing the text summaries for every section of text, which is available. The summaries are text summaries are generated over here. Now that you have this particular part done. Okay. So where are we in this flow chain? We pass the documents. Okay. Using unstructured, we got tables and text chunks. We passed it to Mistral. Okay. We got the table summaries and we got the text summaries. Now we have to embed them and store it in our multi-vector retriever. Okay. So for that, what we need to do is that we need to install Chroma uh, vector database, which is your vector, vector store. And this is an in-memory store. So you are storing this particular vector database in memory. Okay. So previously I have installed all the fast embed and other libraries over here in the beginning. Right. Uh, so I think I covered that where I mentioned that uh, I have uh, installed fast embed as well over here. Okay. So now I am installing Chroma DB. Probably you can install it in the beginning as well. Now here is where what happens is that you are creating a vector store. Okay. Summaries embedding function here. I am passing fast embed embeddings. Okay. Instead of open AI embeddings. Okay. So this makes use of fast embed embeddings and I'm creating an in memory store. And here I'm creating a, a multi vector retriever. And then I am uh, summarizing the uh, basically I'm adding the uh, summary text. Okay. And I'm also adding the summary tables. So the table summaries are also added as well as the summary texts are added. Metadata is also added over here. Okay. So that is what is done over here. Now you have actually created your multi vector retriever. Okay. All right. So now you have uh, basically here embeddings are created for your uh, uh, table summaries, text summaries and multi vector retriever is created whereby, you know, the raw table is also stored along with the summary, which has been em embeddings have been created for the summary and it is stored. Similarly, raw text plus summary is also stored over here. Okay. Uh, it is converted into embeddings and stored in this vector database. Right. Now you can do rag or retrieval augmented generation. Okay. So for that, you have to define a rag uh, pipeline, basically a chain again. So the context is you are going to make use of this multi vector retriever to retrieve uh, based on your question. And for the question, you do like this runnable pass through and uh, you know, prompt is equal to this is the prompt over here. Answer the question based on the following context, which can include text and tables, the context and the question. Okay. So the context will come from the retriever question is what is your query? Okay. Based on your query, the retrieval will re uh, retrieve the appropriate content, which can include text and tables. Okay. And this is the prompt and this is the model. The model is the same Mistral model and you are parsing the output. Okay. Now you can actually try it on our particular uh, document. Right. Uh, we can run a query. Let me close this. All right. So here I have a question that what is the performance of Gemini Ultra, you know, actually performance should not come again on the MMU benchmark per discipline as per table eight. Okay. So where is this as per table eight? So table 11 is here. Now let's go to table eight. Table nine is here. This is table eight. Okay. So performance of Gemini ultra on this particular benchmark. Okay. So here it says, which consists of across six disciplines achieves the best score on this state of art, five percentages power performs the previous best result. So it basically pulls this particular result. Okay. If you see over here, it pulls that Gemini ultra achieves the best score on them. It is pulled that particular piece of text, which is the correct answer over here. Even though this data is outside the table also, but yeah, 
okay now we can ask this question which is inside the table what are the results of automatic speech recognition tasks on youtube here it says according to the context provided the gemini pro model achieves a lower word error rate of 4.9 percent on the youtube versus or while gemini nano okay so this is basically this particular table let me go to the table audio evaluation tasks it is basically pulled from this okay it is pulled this particular thing and it is explaining this you know row of text right i'm just trying to see if that row is not present anywhere in the text right uh, no it's not present right so it is pulling out that row it is not present in the text over here it is present in the table right so what it says over here is that if you look at the values we zoom in a little bit over here the word error recognition of gemini pro gemini nano one whisper okay this is the values right so it says over here that uh, according to the gemini pro model achieves a lower word error on the youtube automatic speech recognition while nano model achieves a higher compared to this it is slightly higher the whisper model has this and uh, usm has this right on the same task so it is actually pulled out this particular uh, you know uh, what do you call table from the table this particular row and it is giving that as a response over here okay so this is how you can actually perform semi-structured rag or retrieval augmented generation on semi-structured data using uh, open source LLMs. I wouldn't say open source, open weight LLM over here and open source embedding libraries Okay, using Langchain. So I have modified this particular uh, cookbook which they have over here which makes use of proprietary open AI embeddings and GPT-4. Okay, I've converted it to make use of open source models. I hope this video is useful to you. I'll be putting the link to this particular um, notebook. You can try it out. Only thing is that since it makes use of this Mistral model, you need a GPU device with at least more than say 30 GB or 40 GB. So probably you need an A100, okay, to run this particular piece of code. You can also try out by playing with other models over here, which are say smaller models. Okay, you just need to figure out uh, this particular where I'm going to load the models, right? Uh, you need to uh, change that particular, uh, you know, uh, model over here, right? Model ID needs to be changed over here. Okay, if you want to try out with other models and depending upon the model parameters, that much memory you might require in the GPU for running those models. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'll be sharing all the links of the description, um, all the links in the description of the video. See you in another video.